Hello dear students, so the question for today's video is in this figure particle 1 of charge positive 1 microcoulomb that is mark charge 1 as positive and particle 2 of charge negative 3 microcoulomb so let us just mark charge 2 as negative are held at separation L equals to 10 this distance is 10 centimeter on X axis if particle 3 of unknown charge Q3 is to be located such that the net electrostatic force on it from particle 1 and 2 is 0 what must be the X and Y coordinates of particle 3 so basically we are not given that what uh, uh, is the charge of particle 3 but for our convenience let us assume that the particle 3 that will be q3 is positive means its magnitude is greater than 0 for our simplicity we have assumed this thing right now the second task is to uh, locate its position let us first consider that uh, let's suppose this is the point where we have particle q3 so now if it's it is positively charged and we see uh, the char which uh, force charge 1 is applying on charge 3 it is positive and it is also positive so it will repel charge 3 from it so the direction of force will be in this direction whereas 2 is negative and it's positive so 2 will attract charge 3 towards itself so the direction will be here the direction of both fields are same so that is why they cannot cancel out each other and we cannot get net electrostatic force zero so it's mean we cannot locate particle uh, or charge q3 here in between this distance okay now let us assume that this is the point where we have the particle or charge q3 now this charge q3 is positive and one is also positive the direction will be here the direction of what direction of force that charge one is applying on charge three and 2 is negative so it will attract charge 3 towards itself so the direction of force that charge 2 is applying on charge 3 will be towards this direction so these are in opposite direction they can cancel out each other but if we see the fact that the uh, magnitude of charge 2 is quite greater as compared to the magnitude of this charge 1 and also this point is very close to uh, charge 2 or we can say that uh, second charge so it's mean that this force will be greater far greater than this force so we cannot get net electrostatic force 0 so we cannot locate this charge Q3 here as well now let us assume that this is the point where we can have charge Q3 that is positively charged. So being uh, positively charged they will repel each other so the direction of force that 1 is applying on 3 will be in this direction and charge 2 is negative it will attract charge 3 towards itself so the direction will be here and also the magnitude of charge 1 is uh, although uh, is smaller as compared to the magnitude of this charge 2 but because it's quite um, you can say the distance between these two is uh, quite uh, is less as compared to the distance between these two so it could be a place where we can get larger force and uh, we can cancel out uh, both forces and get net electrostatic force zero so let's assume that this is the point where we have place our charge Q3 and let us call this distance. We don't know uh, what this distance is. We need to find out this distance. Let us call this distance X. Right students? Now we need to apply Coulomb's law and we know what is Coulomb's law? F equals to K Q1 Q2 over R square. And to get net electrostatic force 0 we need to equate both the forces by saying both forces i mean the force of q1 and q3 and the force of q2 and q3 so we can say that ke q1 q3 over r square is equals to ke q2 q3 over r square 
okay now ke will cancel out ke and also q3 will cancel out this q3 now we are left with q1 over r square and q2 over r square we know the magnitude of charge 1 that is 1 exponent minus 6 don't forget to convert these into standard units 1 exponent minus 6 we have substituted the value of q1 divided by r square this is r square the distance between q1 and q3 so this is my 1 and this is my 3 and the distance between them we have labeled x so it will become x square equals to q2 the magnitude of second charge that is 3 micro coulomb so it will become 3 exponent minus 6 over r square means the distance between particle 2 and uh, 3 or we can say charge 2 and 3 so the distance between 2 and 3 is x plus l so it will become x plus l whole square now this exponent 6 will cancel out this exponent 6 so we have 1 over x square equals to 3 over x plus l whole square so for our simplicity uh, let us take under root on both sides and after taking under root we'll, we will be left with 1 over x equals to root 3 over x plus l now to solve this equation we need to cross multiply and by doing cross multiply we will get x plus l equals to root 3 x now arrange all x uh, terms on one side and uh, l on other side and uh, sorry i forgot to substitute the value of l this l is given to us in the question that is 10 centimeter so you can just substitute 10 at place of l right students so we need to um, root 3x minus x equals to 10 we have arranged x terms at one side and constants at other side so now if we take x common we will be left with root 3 minus 1 equals to 10 and to find out x this will go here and divide by 10 root 3 minus 1 so when you will substitute this thing in your calculator you will get approximately 14 centimeter now don't forget that where we have substituted uh, or sorry sorry where we have placed q3 this is my origin and we place q3 at left side and if we remember the axis we remember that towards left we have negative x-axis so means that the value of x will be negative because this charge q3 is towards the negative towards negative origin negative x-axis sorry so we can say that x equals to minus 14 centimeter and from the question it was very clear that the charge is lying on x-axis means the y-axis will be zero or if you can't get it through the question you can get it from your figure because the figure is or we can say the charges are lying on completely x-axis so there will be no y quadrant so we have solved both the parts i hope uh, you have got this question if you have any query you can ask me in the comment section plus don't forget to subscribe the channel and share with your friends